Thank you, Jennifer. And yes, it's been a very inspiring day. So thanks to everyone who's been presenting. And it was um, a great pleasure to be a member of this learning community. And it was very useful. I joined the community because I have been spearheading an initiative for my department, which is called the Shakespeare and Company Drama Lab. And it's building on strengths in the department in dramatic literature and forging alliances with local theaters, such as the Signet in Old Town and the Old Globe in Balboa Park in uh, San Diego uh, Junior Theater. And as um, one component of that, uh, initiative, I created and taught a course this last spring called From Page to Stage. And it's uh, very experimental. It has, while it's not formally a service learning course yet, although I've talked to Jose Preciado about uh, that possibility, it has an outreach component to the local um, community, to arts institutions, and um, it also has a pre-professional component to it, so it's allowing English majors and others to see potential career paths that they may not have imagined for themselves. And so we were reading dramatic literature, but we were also studying the local theater community. So reading plays that we would then go see. Uh, we had theater professionals such as Barry Edelstein from the Old Globe Theater, who's the new artistic director there, come speak to the students. We had Taylor Wyckoff, who's the education and outreach director at the Signet, come speak to students. And uh, when we went and saw shows, um, for instance, at the Signet, after a performance that, that we saw of My Fair Lady, the students led a discussion with the audience members and the, the staff and, um, and uh, actors. And um, for their final project, um, what the students did was design program notes for a future production that theaters could use, an upcoming production, and school study guides, because theaters um, are often trying to bring in, for instance, high school students uh, to see their shows, but they need something to provide the teachers who are bringing those students. They need to know, they need to give the teachers something that the teachers can use to um, incorporate the, the playgoing experience into what the students are learning. So they were designing those, looking at things like a, a common core standards that the teachers have to use. And there was a digital component to the course um, in that these study guides and program notes that they were creating collaboratively um, were being um, added to a, a digital repository. So it was a WordPress site. And each, each uh, and it's available to the public. So each group um, had their own section of the WordPress site in which they were uploading um, their work and as well as submitting a hard copy of what, of what they had produced that could actually be presented to these theaters. And we were very fortunate to be able to work in one of the learning uh, research studios, uh, Adams Humanities 1112, that LRS space, uh, which really facilitated it because students can work in groups so successfully there in, in pods. Um, I just want to show you a couple of slides here. To, in order to talk about uh, evidence, evidence of success. So here we have the, the student learning objectives or outcomes. And I just, um, the, the th I won't focus on all of them, but the third one you can see talks about this uh, collaborative scholarly research, um, which plays out specifically in terms of this portfolio that they're producing that is digital um, with the program notes and the school study guide. And um, then the fourth outcome, notice, talks about the fact that students are going to be forging a, a pre-professional career network through working with these theater professionals, seeing, seeing shows, leading uh, talkbacks after performances, and so forth. And so I feel like probably the best evidence that this is successful is that over the course of the semester, before the semester was over, a student actually 
was hired by the Signet Theater um, on the basis of the work that was being done and the connections that she had made. And there are, there are three others who are being considered for, for positions or for internships. So this is kind of unusual for a course in the humanities that uh, there's this kind of direct link uh, between knowledge and um, analysis and, and jobs and, and a career path. Um, so those are, those are the learning outcomes, and I'll just show you here um, the rubric for the, for the final project, which um, having taught this now for the first time, I will be adjusting, but even though it's a collaborative project, they were working in groups in the LRS and, and submitting their work together, the bulk of the points being earned were individual, individually earned. So students were signing their their sections of this WordPress site that they had contributed, signing their sections of the program notes and the, and the school study guide. Um, so uh, this, this was a, a, a way of letting the, these outcomes play out in terms of a specific rubric. Um, and of course, I was getting, I was, I was building the course somewhat on the fly as I went, and so I was getting feedback from the students on, on a daily basis about what was working and what uh, perhaps needed some adjustment. Now, um, we did a survey, so I do have um, some uh, graphs to show you that were derived from the, the survey results. Another factor of this course is that it was one of a few courses on campus that was fully accessible for the first time as part of the uh, mandate that's coming from the chancellor that all courses become fully accessible. And so we used a, a survey that um, is designed for online learning but very much adaptable to face-to-face -face learning and some of you will be familiar with this, this quality online learning and teaching uh, rubric. And uh, this is what the questions were and the way they were answered. So uh, number one, the course syllabus, Blackboard site, and other course instructions were clear. Uh, the purpose of the course is clear. Uh, so this was a way of collecting evidence about the experience that they were having in the classroom. Uh, questions go on about, for instance, number seven, instruction in this class is varied, example, our guest speakers, videos, student presentations, lectures, and more, and so forth. And um, yeah, the responses were all very strong. Um, they, were, they were collaborating a lot, as indicated in number 11. Um, and felt that these skills, as indicated in number 12, they would be able to use in other contexts. And uh, interestingly, their question number 16, uh, well, 15 and 16 are asking about the, the technology. And uh, for the most part, people felt that the technology was at the appropriate level. And uh, so, th so these are the kind of results that we were, we were uh, collecting within this survey. Um, but I also want to add that I always, in all my classes, provide a survey uh, in which I'm trying to guide students to understand and appreciate what they have gained uh, in the course to help them think through. And so I, I talk at the beginning of the survey about what I have attempted to do. So I'm in a certain sense reiterating the original uh, objectives. And so the questions are framed in a very particular kind of way. They're, they're slanted. Um, and I'll be interested to see what you what you think of this. So for instance, I ask, uh, do you agree that you were challenged to develop skill in collaboration, negotiation, and diplomacy as a result of this project? Um, do you agree that you were challenged to develop skill in presenting your work publicly? Um, do you agree that you were challenged to develop skill in creative thinking? Uh, to develop skill in analytical thinking? Uh, to develop digital literacy? Do you agree that you uh, learned more about dramatic literature, the professional theater world, and the web uh, 
that we were, it uh, looks like there's a typo there, uh, and, and aspects of the theatrical performance as a result of this project. And then the final question, uh, do you think you would have learned more in a traditionally structured class with an emphasis primarily on lecture? And the results are, uh, are very positive and um, I'm trying to help them to see what they did gain through uh, this survey, which, which you may or may not think is a pr an appropriate uh, gauge, but uh, a part of the process that uh, I, I incorporate, incorporate in, in all of my classes, not just this one. So yes, that's, that's from page to stage uh, that I designed for this, this last uh, spring, and uh, if you're interested, that WordPress site is up there available to to view, um, all, as I say, part of the Shakespeare and Company Drama Lab initiative. Any questions?